What's going on everybody? KT here. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. You know, lately I've been watching a lot of the news, more so than I've ever done in my entire life. Cause I mean, there's so much going on in the world today. And with the George Floyd situation and the protesting, all you seem to hear about is police brutality, police brutality, police brutality. And don't get me wrong, all police officers are not bad. There are some good officers in the world. But as my pastor always says, the way you bend the tree is how it grows. And in my opinion, the seeds that were planted to establish the foundation of the police force were not good seeds. It goes all the way back to colonial America. When a police force was put together to watch over the colonists and to make sure that they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. Then you had night watchers who would watch the streets at night to make sure that everything was decent and in order. But even back in those times, lots of police officers didn't wanna be seen in public wearing badges because some of them had certain reputations that they were trying to maintain and they didn't wanna be disliked by others. And so then you transition into slavery. These force was put together to catch runaway slaves and to prevent other slaves from rebelling. And so when you really think about it, the police force wasn't always built upon this idea of to serve and protect because the people that they had to watch over didn't pose a threat. I mean, what type of threat is a runaway slave gonna pose? He's unarmed and he's running away because he's trying to attain freedom. So what type of threat is he gonna pose? What type of threat is a colonist gonna pose? No type of threat whatsoever. And so it's the same thing with this situation with George Floyd. George Floyd was unarmed. He posed no type of threat whatsoever. You already had him pinned down by his legs. And then to add insult to injury, you will put your knee on his neck while he's pleading to you that he can't breathe. It's just ridiculous. And so don't get me wrong. I am not saying that all police officers are bad. But what I am saying is that the seeds that were planted in order to establish the police force that we know today were not good seeds. And that's why you see some of the things going on today and how police officers uh, interact with other people. And so that's just the bottom line. And so that was Tea Time with KT. God bless you and enjoy your week.